Hi everyone, this is Ashley and I have decided to make an instructional video on how to take an EPT digital home pregnancy test and EPT stands for error proof test. Now I did make a video previously and unfortunately the video for some reason accidentally cut off um, and I had a test that actually indicated an error message so I wanted to go ahead and go over that with you. So I'm going to change the title of that video and that's actually going to be one that you can see an actual error on um, because errors are actually quite uh, common. So let's go ahead and get started. Now before we do that I want to specify that with any pregnancy test it's really important to go over the user leaflet and the instructions because each test can be quite different, especially digital tests, but really any home pregnancy test. Um, you want to start off normally with most directions will specify to use uh, first morning urine, FMU, only because it has the highest concentration of the pregnancy hormone, HCG, and typically if you are opting to use a evening or afternoon hold, you want to generally do at least um, a three to six hour hold with very minimal liquid intake. You want it to be very concentrated. So preferably if um, you have an option to use a test strip or say a midstream test where you can put that in your urine stream or you can collect a sample in a cup. I usually highly advise to collect a sample in a cup only because um, as you can see here that's that's what con concentrated would look like kind of like an apple cider look to it, um, a dark yellow. If it looks really clear, um, what I would do is I would dump it and save it, do another hold and try again later. And that way I'm not going to waste a test. So the way that most digitals work, when you take them out of the package, it's going to come in something like this. And then once you unwrap the foil, it's going to activate the test. So with these instructions, they specify to use the test immediately. Some will specify to use the test, you know, within a 20 to 30 minute time span. But again, always read the instructions because each test can be different. Now with an EPT specifically, it works very similar to a clear blue or even a um, fair digital gold, which is a first response digital gold. This is one of the other higher brands. And I do believe that um, I, this test is about 25 MIU, although I will contact the uh, manufacturer. I tried doing that before making this video, but unfortunately their office was closed. It was 4 p.m. Central time here, and uh, they close at 5 p.m. Eastern time, so they're actually an hour ahead of us. So I just missed them by about two minutes. So when you take it out of the package, it's going to come with... A little deal like this in a purple lid and this right here is actually the result window. I want to show you real quick what an error message will look like. If you get something that has a notebook like this that's an error symbol and it's something completely blank you would have to call the manufacturer at this number right here to see you know what could be going on with that but one of the reasons why it's really important to read the instructions is because what I found out with this test specifically, and not to say that other tests don't do the same thing, but um, if you don't dip it long enough, if you dip it even a couple seconds too long, if you don't lie it flat immediately, you can get an error message, and then ultimately you're wasting a test. So it's really important to dip it in the precise amount of time. So if you're opting to do a uh, midstream, or you're holding it in your urine stream, which I advise not to do only because there's a computer chip in here. And so you essentially risk splashing the uh, screen and that can also cause an error on the test as well. So I opt to collect a sample and again, a highly concentrated sample. And if you're doing it via sample in a cup, you wanna dip it for precisely 20 seconds. And I mean precisely. Otherwise, you will get an error. So the last time I did this, I think I did it for maybe three to four seconds longer, not intentionally, and it caused me to have an error. So I did it precisely for only 20 seconds with the second test, and it worked fine. So also, if you're doing it with the uh, dipping this in your urine stream, you want to do it for only precisely five seconds.
and then you want to immediately lay it flat just like this so we're gonna go ahead we'll get started and then I'm gonna take this lid off so I'm gonna have to set the uh, camera down for a second and I'll take the lid off I'll tip it for precisely 20 seconds and then put it back together and then it's gonna take about three minutes to get the results and so during that time you're gonna see an hour clock flashing and if you get the hour clock that indicates that the test is working properly so that's what you that's what you want to see versus a book or a completely blank screen and then within about three minutes you'll get these results here that are going to indicate pregnant pregnant or not pregnant okay so here we go I'm gonna set this down for just a second and we'll get started That has been 20 seconds. Okay, and here you see the hour clock, which is a good sign. So in about three minutes, which it can be as early as one, the results will appear. And also, the results will stay in the window for about 48 hours once you've taken the test. So if it comes up as a positive result, and you want to show your husband or a friend, or maybe you want to post it on Facebook or whatnot, um, the results will remain for about 48 hours, so that's pretty cool. So anyways, um, if you get an opportunity, go on to www.peonstickfreak.com because we have tons of really cool charting-related info on there for those of you who are new. We also have a really fabulous Facebook group. We are called the Pee on a Stick Freaks, and we're actually doing something really cool aside from the typical SSB, which stands for the Secret Sock Buddy group that we have. And it's kind of like tailored around support where we send each other care packages and you can sign up once every three months. Um, we're also now doing tarot readings for our members and we kind of offer that exclusively for them. So if you're interested in, uh, and it's all in good fun, so if you're interested in getting a tarot reading, we have docs inside the uh, group files that has all the information. We also do contests where you can win free readings. And again, it's exclusive to those members inside of the group, but we also have, um, tabs an actual trying to conceive um, tarot group not necessarily group but it's it's more of a doc inside the group but we have tabs on the official website itself on www.peonastickfreak.com and i've actually just created a virtual tarot deck for those of you who want to get to know the cards and it's kind of fun so not to mention the fact that you can also follow us on instagram which is pee on a stick freak and on twitter which is pee on a stick frk so check it out it's a lot of fun and we have some terrific members in there so we look forward to having you inside our group and again it's exclusive the readings are exclusive for our members and you can do you know all kinds of different questions it's not just tailored specifically around fertility but it can be so you can ask about finances and relationships family and also of course conception and all that good stuff so with that being said Okay, so that is the result, and that's what typically a result will look like, so that means the test worked properly. So here again, this will stay on for about 48 hours, and it's gonna say pregnant or not pregnant. So that's how that works. So again, just make sure whenever you're doing any kind of a pregnancy test, whether it's a blue dye, a pink dye, or a digital, to be sure and read the instructions thoroughly prior to doing the test. Um, I always opt again to collect a sa urine sample that hopefully is highly concentrated be, you know prior to taking a test out of the packaging because if not then I can do another hold or you can do another hold and you can try again and not waste a test so that's why I highly recommend doing that versus um, taking the chance of getting a user error by placing it in the urine stream and possibly you know you take the chance of splashing the actual window so it's a little different with the digital in that respect versus a normal pink dye or blue dye test. Of course, I do highly recommend staying away from blue dyes altogether because they're unfortunately quite notorious for false positives and dye runs. So I say if you're not going to do digital, stick with the pink dye. 
And again, I'm going to call the manufacturer to find out specifically, but I do believe the EPT digital test is 25 to 40 MIU. So these tests are going to work the best on the day of your missed period or even after a missed period. They are not recommended to use during early pregnancy. So if you're one of those that tracks ovulation um, and you want to test early, I would highly recommend using a more highly sensitive test in that respect. Something that would be along the lines of 10 to 20 MIU and can pick up on a lower concentration of HCG. So again, this is Ashley signing off and thank you again for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, um, do us a favor and give the video a like and subscribe to our channel. And of course, share the video. It's meant for informational purposes. Join our group for fun events such as contests where you can win free pee sticks and, of course, tarot readings if you're interested in getting one of those. Also, our lovely little secret sock buddy group, which is a lot of fun, kind of like being a pen pal, except you send care packages um, to other members and you do it in exchange so you get paired up with somebody. And Check out our website, www.peonastickfreak.com, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram, Twitter, peonastickfrk, Instagram, peonastickfreak, and of course our official, give our official Facebook a like, peonastickfreak, and join our Facebook group, which is the Freaks. if you're going through that journey. Thank you again. Y'all have a wonderful day, and this is Ashley signing off.